Hi, good morning. Today I'll be talking a little bit about practical electricity. This is chapter 17 of the O-Level syllabus. We're going to talk about the use of electricity around us, and we're going to learn about the heating effects of electricity and appliances, electrical power and energy, the cost of using electrical appliances, the dangers of electricity, and also the safe use of electricity in the home. When an electrical appliance is used, electrical energy is changed into other forms of energy. Recall the law of conservation of energy that you learned in chapter 6. Now, for these three objects, energy is transformed into one form to the other. So, for the following appliances, try to state the energy changes that take place. For the light bulb, electrical energy changes to light energy and also thermal energy, which is heat. For example, if you touched a light bulb when it was on, it should be hot. For a hair dryer, electrical energy from the power socket changes to kinetic energy, which is the wind blowing out of the hair dryer because of a fan. And also, there is a sound coming out of the hair dryer and that will be sound energy and lastly of course a hair dryer it provides thermal energy as well now the last one a kettle it should just be electrical energy converted to thermal energy where the electrical energy uh, heats up the water in the kettle when electric current flows through a wire the wire will heat up this is because of the resistance in the wire electrical energy has been converted to thermal energy Nichrome wire is the most common heating element that is being used in electrical appliances. Nichrome is chosen because it has three important properties. The first one is that it has a high resistance. Now, high resistance is important because only if a wire has high resistance will it be able to convert electrical energy into thermal energy at a high rate. The next one is that Nichrome has a high melting point. This is so that um, when a lot of current passes through it and it heats up to a high temperature, your wires will not melt. The third one is that nichrome does not oxidize easily at high temperatures. Oxidize means to rust. Therefore, nichrome does not rust easily. So, the greater the resistance of the wire, the greater the amount of thermal energy that will be produced. Some uses of heating elements, the current will go through the wire here, which is the heating element. This will be made of nichrome. This heating element is in the water itself. Then, because the electricity would convert into heat energy or thermal energy, this heating element would heat up and this heat would then pass to the water by conduction. Very commonly, they will ask you, why is the heating element placed at the bottom of the water instead of at the top? You must explain using chapter 8 convection, where if the water is heated up at the bottom, the water will expand, become less dense and it will rise forming a convection current where the colder water sinks down back to the heating element. Over here is another form of the heating element, which is the electric iron. The wire passes through the base of the iron and therefore makes the base hot through conduction of heat from the wire to the base plate metal.